Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So today's video I'm actually really excited to film. Um, I have been very kindly gifted some fabric markers and paints from the website Arteza. Um, I will link them in the description and any other information in the description. Um, but yeah, basically they sent me some fabric paints on their website they do like loads of art supplies and like especially like during lockdown and stuff now now that we're in lockdown like if you're bored at home like there's so much to do on there like they do like polymer clay like and as you might have seen in my previous videos i've made like some earrings with polymer clay and that sort of stuff so yeah there's like plenty of stuff to do on there i will leave the link to the website in the description but yeah they sent me some fabric markers and pens and so i've bought some tops and like a canvas bag and some stencils and i'm gonna be making and painting on some clothes today so let's go for it let me show you like one by one everything that i've got so obviously first i've got the arteza fabric paints um you get literally so many colors in here it tells you all the colors on the top and there's some really pretty colors in there let me open them up and show you so this box is actually like quite heavy because there's like a lot of paint in there but yeah this is all the paints you get and like there's so many nice colors like look how bright that orange is and then there's like green that's a really pretty blue mm, i like that pink so yeah uh there's plenty of colors in there and then they also sent me the markers these fabric markers here um again like there's so many colors in there i've not opened these yet i won't actually open them now yeah i've actually been so excited to do this video like this stuff arrived like last weekend like i think sunday and monday but then like i had to kind of order like some stuff to actually paint on um i will link both of these products in the description as well obviously oh yes i was hoping they were going to be double-sided and they are you get like a thicker end and then a thinner end as well yes i'm gonna have fun with this um and then i'll show you what else i've ordered to actually create just like a plain dress a plain blue dress i've got some stencils um i'm like probably not the best person to like freehand paint and freehand draw so i decided that i'm not gonna do that because it probably will not look amazing so um i've ordered i ordered some stencils and i thought because it's like basically like nearly christmas isn't it i ordered some like snowflakes uh there's a lot of snowflakes and like there's like flowery things in there as well more snowflakes they all came in a pack i thought they was only going to send like one pack of stencils but these all came in a pack and then i've got little paw prints because i love cats and some butterflies which i think it'd look really cute and some like lettering as well so yeah i'm gonna go for it i need to get my paint brushes and stuff ready and then i'm gonna get paint so i've like read the instructions on the back and obviously like you need to mix the paint so i mean i've got this little paper plate how cute princess party and some water because you can mix the paints with water as well um, because I think I'm going to use a pencil to like kind of draw out what I want first because I'm not going to go straight in and ruin it <laughs> straight away. I think this blue dress would look really cute with a butterfly, I'm not going to lie. So I'm thinking on this, we do a butterfly. I ordered these because I, I kind of wanted a single butterfly. I couldn't find a single butterfly, but I think I'm going to use that biggest butterfly and like oh, making me confused about what and like put it on. Let me show you guys. I think I want to um, kind of do this, like in the middle, but <laughs> it's kind of making me confused, like uh, because that's on a slant. Like I want it straight, and I feel like I feel like that's probably straight. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I've decided I'm gonna do this butterfly. So I'm literally just like trying to draw it out now with my pencil. Uh, that pencil's not working so I'm just going to go straight in with one of the markers I think if I do a purple butterfly for the first one I think that'll look really cute so I'm going to find like a purple pen mm, that, see that lilac looks really nice but I don't think it's going to show up I think I'm going to use this purple here 
I'm gonna use the purple pen and I think I'm just gonna draw straight on with the pen. So I'm going straight in with the pen and as you can see this is like way more effective and I'm just gonna draw around with the pen. It just works so much easier than the pencil and I'm gonna paint the rest in. So there is my little butterfly. So <laughs> here is my paints and oh let me find a pen. Uh -huh. That's a cute little purple. Oh, is there any other purples? No, I don't think. I think that's like the only purple in here. Yeah, I think that is the only purple. So I'm going to use this purple to paint. I can't see my head anymore, but I've just positioned the camera so that you can see what I'm doing on here. <laughs> so there's my butterfly. Um, I'm going to squidge a bit of this paint out. Oh. They've probably got covers on, I didn't really think of that. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's a really a pretty purple. But yeah, I'm gonna squidge a bit of this out onto this plate. And now I'm going to start coloring in my butterfly. Yeah, these fabric paints go on really nicely. And you have to leave them to dry for like six hours. You can see that the paints go on like really nicely and I'm literally just going to colour this whole butterfly in this colour. So this is my butterfly painted in. I've decided I'm going to outline it with black. I think that will look a little bit better. Um, yeah, and I don't know whether to do anything else on it. I think it looks pretty basic. But, cute. but like the paints are honestly like so easy to use. I really like them. Um, I'm just gonna fill in any gaps I've got. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I feel like you can genuinely do like so much with this. Like there's so many cute like little designs. There's so many designs that I wanna do already. I wanna do like a Christmassy top as well. And then I'm gonna leave it to dry for like six hours. And then I will show you guys it on. Um, I'm really excited actually. I've just outlined it in black, but my camera died so I couldn't film it. But yes, this is the finished result. I'm gonna leave it to dry now and then I'll be back. Here's the dress. Um, I really like the design. I think it's simple. It's just hanging on my radiator because I left it overnight to dry. I think it's really simple and cute. To seal the uh, paint, you've got like eye in the back of it. So I'm going to go and eye in the back of it now and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. Okay guys, so here I am. I'm wearing a dress now. Um, and here's my cute little design on it. I wanted to go for something like really simple because, you know, um, I prefer like cute little simple things. Um, I didn't want to overdo it. Like, and for a first attempt, I'm pretty happy. I think it looks really cute. Here's a little close up. So I hope that you enjoyed that video. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. I'll also leave any links to the products that I used in this video as well as like any discount codes I might have. So I will see you in my next video.